Typhoon aircraft on quick reaction alert in two locations in the UK, uh, in the Falkland Islands as well, and also uh, in the, uh, the Baltic states. Virtually on a daily basis, uh, the crews are called to cockpits against potential incidents, and uh, certainly on a monthly basis, uh, then they're involved in live scrambles against various aircraft in order to protect our, uh, our interest. P1E has been uh, very successful for the, uh, for the aircraft. It's bringing Paveway 4 capability to, uh, to the jet. The, uh, the weapon allows you to GPS guide or laser guide a weapon into a target, so a lot more flexibility for the, uh, for the operator than, uh, than previously. P1EB uh, enhancements improve that uh, human-machine uh, interface, allow us, uh, the pilot, to do uh, the multi-role mission in a way which reduces the workload, gives them more capacity, ensures that they can operate the aircraft in the most effective way. P2E builds on the, uh, on the successes of P1E. It brings uh, Meteor, uh, long-range air-to-air missile allows you to target um, at greater ranges than uh, AMRAM. Meteor I'm hugely excited about and so to finally get it on the aeroplane with the just immense capability that brings it's, uh, it's a really exciting future for Typhoon. As far as P2E air to surface uh, weapons uh, are concerned, we're bringing Storm Shadow onto the aircraft. Um, it's a long range cruise missile uh, which allows the pilot to attack targets a uh, very long distance away and sometimes beyond the range of the, uh, the aircraft. So. Brimstone's a close-in, uh, small, uh, precise air-to-surface uh, weapon used to a great effect in recent campaigns. Uh, it allows the pilot to attack targets such as armoured vehicles whilst uh, minimising collateral damage. Personally, I've kind of been through a journey with Brimstone. So the fact that we're getting it on Typhoon, I think, is a huge capability leap forward. Beyond P3E, we're looking at uh, identifying um, air-to-air and air-to-surface weapons which are, will be able to enhance, further enhance Typhoon's capability, uh, as well as the integration of the e-scan radar. From the very first second I sat in the aeroplane and went flying in it, you knew it was a world beater just because of the raw performance and power that that aeroplane has. So the fact that we're continuing to improve the capability across the board, and it's not just weapons, you know, it's the radar performance, it's the infrared search and track, the helmet mounted um, sighting system, it's part of the weapon system. All of those things, you know, is a fantastic platform. Typhoon's already a combat proven multi-role weapon system. The work we're doing now will considerably enhance the weapon system's capability well into the future. This shows that this aircraft is the heart of our combat air capability uh, into the future. We have confidence in the other uh, platform. Um, our uh, air crew and our engineers, they similarly have confidence in it. And our international allies, as they see us operating this aircraft um, on operations around the world, uh, they hugely respect us for what we do in the contribution of Typhoon next to them.